Cap, what side do you want him on? I think I found that guy. Uh, later on the bottom. Let's see. What about just here? Not too sure. Maybe, maybe here. What, what way do you want him facing? On his head by the tombstone and his feet out this um, Yeah, yeah. I think that's ideal. Sad day has been brought upon us. Mm. The last thing I expected was to uh, see another fine lawman die this week. Henry Tass was a fine man. He hired me into this office. And his legacy will never be forgotten. He approached me. Offered me the job. I accepted it. I had previous offers, but I accepted his. I think he was a sergeant at the time. I think when I reached the rank of sergeant, he handed me a naval compass and told me, always remember where you came from, Sean. And I can only give my greatest of gratitude and thanks to this fine man who hired me that wonderful day. So I please, I will invite anyone to say their final words or anything at all. Hey Pat, you want to relay the message that you received before we left St. Denis from Henry? Um, he, he gave me his badge and told me if anything was to happen, he'd, he'd like me to pause it to hatch. Or oh, how? Is under Sheriff Hoyle around? Uh, don't think so. No, he isn't. I have the badge in my vest pocket. Give it to me. Wonderful. Deserve better. Better than to die in that hell. good with words at all but I'm gonna miss him a lot he was one of my first friends in LSO inspired me to be a better lawman I gave him a pen I gave him a lot of pens, actually. And he, he kept one of them. Pretty sure he gave it today. But... It's his. And so he's keeping it. The story of each man is told in two brief items, birth and death. All of the people who have ever lived have known these things, and I think it's an authentic sign and seal of godship that he was a wax glad and more glad until the gladness blossomed and burst into a rage to suffer for mankind.
success will always be remembered. Tonight he will be dining in paradise. I hope it's nice wherever he's gone. Take this with you, brother. I need to talk to you too. Of course. Knock my door in Saint Denis. Yeah. Yours? Yeah. They uh Troy sent me a telegram up to the house in the mountains, my lake house, so I had to ride down as fast as possible. Would you share a story you and Seth had? Who me? Yes, sir. I fucking hired this man. Yeah. Yep. One of my favorite stories. I can share a story with Tass. Um, <laughs> the very first time he ever put somebody on judicial hold, <laughs> it was actually by accident. It was quite funny, the story. This guy got caught for selling swamp herb in uh, Annisburg. And I told him, because it was a guy we've known for a long time. And uh, it was just kind of funny how the whole thing, I can't re repeat it verbatim, but the way Tass was talking to this guy in the cell, was, it was quite funny, and I don't know, it just makes me laugh every time I think of it. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, I can say on the first day I met him, uh, he was a, he seemed like a lost soul in the Bastille. And uh, he was indecisive what he wanted to do with his future. He was had talks of potentially joining the law or doing other things, and uh, the way he spoke to me and the things he had to say to me uh, made me very keen on what he would be good at. And it would be law. As I persuaded him to come down to the Rhodes office here and have a, you know, just do an interview for fun. Just for a little fun interview. See how, see how he does. And uh, goddamn, that was the goddamn best interview I've ever had with anyone. And for that moment, the answers he gave me and the way he responded to everything I ever asked him. That you'd, you'd be perfect, Alman. And I offered him a position and he thought on it for a day. And um, he finally accepted. And, you know, I'm glad he did because he, he made it all the way up. And uh, I'm very sad about mm -hmm. the news that was, all, you know, delivered to my door. Yeah. Is he only up there now? Nobody else? I've always thought, too, it's funny about Tass is a lot of the times we'd, we'd walk out of the sheriff's office and we'd find him just walking up and down the streets, just doing absolutely nothing. Just walking up and down the streets, the, right here in Rhodes, just up and down and up and down and up and down all day long. It was, I don't know. I've always just found it funny. I was saying but, he, would, uh, he'd, he would say, uh, Under Sheriff, I have, a, I have some business for you. I have some, something to discuss with you privately. He'd pull me around to the side of the building and we'd go on a long walk because I just need to talk to you over here. We'd get to where he wanted to talk, and all he did was he pulled his badge out, sh show me his badge, and run away. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's got you. That fucking guy. You just want to share a beautiful story? Of 
Copper, nothing. It's been a rough days for all of us, man. Yeah, John, now Tass is kind of a kind of a low blow for Law, that's for sure. Definitely hurts. I remember John's dad. I used to work with John's dad back in the day. That's how long I've... Fucking old man. John's dad was a fine lawman. You know, I never thought I would have to do so many last rites in one week. Well, I mean, there's no better person to do it than you, Sean, so. Thanks, Pierce. Knock my door and see the knee. Yeah. Of yours? Yeah. They, uh, Troy sent me a telegram up to the house in the mountains, my lake house. So I had to ride down as fast as possible. Would you share a story you and Seth had? Who, me? Yes, sir. I fucking hired this man. Yeah. Yep. One of my favorite stories. I can share a story of Tass. Um, <laughs> the very first time he ever put somebody on judicial hold, <laughs> it was actually by accident. It was quite funny, the story. This guy got caught for selling swamp herb in uh, Annisburg. And I told him, because it was a guy we've known for a long time. And uh, it was just kind of funny how the whole thing... I can't re repeat it verbatim, but... The way Tass was talking to this guy in the cell was it was quite funny and I don't know, it just makes me laugh every time I think of it. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, I can say on the first day I met him, uh, he was a he seemed like a lost soul in the Bastille. And uh he was indecisive what he wanted to do with his future. He was had talks of potentially joining the law or doing other things and uh, the way he spoke to me and the things he had to say to me uh, made me very keen on what he would be good at. And it would be law. As I persuaded him to come down to the Rhodes office here and have a, uh, just do an interview for fun. Just for a little fun interview. See how, see how he does. And uh, goddamn, that was the goddamn best interview I've ever had with anyone. And for that moment, the interest he gave me and the way he responded to everything I ever asked him. That you'd, you'd be perfect, Alman. And I offered him a position and he thought on it for a day. And um, he finally accepted. And, you know, I'm glad he did because he, he made it all the way up. And uh, I'm very sad about mm -hmm. the news that was, all, you know, delivered to my door. Yeah. Is he only up there now? Nobody else? I've always thought, too, it's funny about Tass is a lot of the times we'd we'd walk out of the sheriff's office and we'd find him just walking up and down the streets, just doing absolutely nothing. Just walking up and down the streets, of, right here in Rhodes, just up and down and up and down and up and down all day long. It was, I don't know, I've always just found it funny. I was saying, but, he, would, uh, he, would, he would say, uh, Under Sheriff, I have, a, I have some business for you. I have some, something to discuss with you privately. He'd pull me around to the side of the building and we'd go on a long walk. Cause I just need to talk to you over here. We'd get to where he wanted to talk, and all he did was he pulled his badge out, show, show me his badge, and run away. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's got you. That fucking guy. You just want to share a beautiful story? Nothing. It's been a rough days for all of us, man. Yeah, John, now Tass is kind of a kind of a low blow for Law, that's for sure. Definitely hurts. 
I remember John's dad. I used to work with John's dad back in the day. That's how long I've... Fucking old man. John's dad was a fine lawman. You know, I never thought I would have to do so many last rites in one week. Well, I mean, there's no better person to do it than you, Sean, so... Thanks, Pierce. Okay, Vinny, take you out. Take out your anger. Don't have any? I, I did what you asked me to do, huh? At least we're blue. Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, those are the days. You know, yeah. you never wanted a promotion from senior up. Never yeah, wanted one. Declined it every single time. And every time. Said, Let's mm -hmm. just get fucking corporal and do it. How many times did we offer to him, Sparrow? Probably what? Like fucking like five, five times. Six times. Yeah. I had to pull this man to the side and just convince him and convince him. Like, Tess, you're 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 built for so much better. Take the take the role. See if you like it. If you don't like it, I'll put, bring it back down. Easy peasy. But eventually, he did do it. Yep, definitely a shitty week, that's for sure. My um sympathies go to his um significant dollar during these hard times. Did he actually get a significant does he, does he have any family? He did have a, um... Yeah, fiancé. Yeah. Oh, you had a fiancé. They were engaged. Yeah. Is she yeah. here with us? No, no. He, he had a fiancé. Well, she's not... She hasn't been around for a while. He's a troubled man, but, you know, we didn't stop him from doing what he needed to do. I still remember all the times you went on these dates and it never worked <laughs> out. You know. It was so smooth with the lady from the parlor house. Yes. Yeah. I still remember that. Yeah. There was a time me and him were trying to organize a double date. Me and my wife showed up, but he never arrived. He was hungover. <laughs> it sounds like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, we can talk now. <laughs> 